Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Shaka from Shaka Reacts and today we've got another music teacher reaction and analysis video for you. Specifically today guys, we've got a first time reaction video for you. I've never heard this group before. I've definitely never heard this song before. Today guys, we're going to be checking out the group Tenacious D and their song Tribute. Super excited to get in this. Let's check it out. This is it, buddy. What? This is the awesome recording studio where we're gonna record our this, album? It's a studio. It says it on the door. <laughs> it's official studio. This is one of those lame karaoke things. Okay, you wanna bail? Go ahead. You wanna walk away from your dreams? Or do you wanna come in here with me, like the tenacious D I know, and change rock history? Okay. Oh, standard death. <laughs> See, man, they got headphones and everything. Oh, wow, cool. Sorry. See, no, look, dude. You gotta record other people's songs. Yeah, well, that's where a little studio engineering comes in handy, my hard rockin' amigo. Wow, dude. Oh, man. I love, real quick before we continue, guys, I love that when they got in the booth, and they closed the door, all the background noise went away. I don't know if you guys caught that, but there was background noise uh, in the hallway and stuff before. But as soon as they got in the studio and closed the door, all the background noise went away. That's a really cool little sound editing uh, thing. That I don't know if all of you are familiar with like uh, sound panels and all that jazz. Really cool little editing trick that they did there. This is the greatest and best song in the world. <laughs> Tribute. Long time ago, me and my brother Kyle here. Is that his brother? We was hitchhiking down a long and lonesome road. I didn't know it was his brother. All of a sudden, there shined a shiny demon in the middle of the road what <laughs> and he said play the best song in the world or i'll eat your soul well me and kyle we looked at each other and we each said okay <laughs> and we played the first thing that came to our heads just so happened to be to say the beast was stunned a whip crack went his trumpet tail <laughs> and the beast was done he asked us <laughs> be you angels and we said nay nay we are but men <laughs> Ooh, I like the last chord they did there. This is, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Uh, so one, I am, I am familiar with Jack Black. I do know who Jack Black is. Love him from School of Rock. One of my all-time favorite uh, movies ever, obviously being a music teacher. Um... But love him. I is they said earlier that Kyle Kyle I think was his name is his brother. Is that is that real? Is that legit? I don't like I said I don't know anything about the group Tenacious D. I just know who Jack Black is. Uh, let me know in comments down below, guys. Is that actually his brother or is this like Jack Black common humor where he's just messing with us? It wouldn't surprise me at all if he's messing with us. <laughs> but this this takes me back so much. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, standard def here. We've got this the old studio karaoke studio here. The gumball machines, like it takes me straight back. 
Yeah, food court, even the food court. Like, how often do people go to food courts now? It's very rare. Uh, like, malls are closing left and right. Nobody goes to food courts. Like, this takes me straight back to the 80s, both in terms of an, a visual aesthetic and the music. Like, I miss, I miss music like this that is um, not only just amazing, but incredibly... I don't know what the word is. I don't want to like lyrical is not necessarily the best word to use here, but it's like, it's lyrical. It's, it focuses on the words. It focuses on the story that's being told. Uh, Like I, I miss this kind of music so much, man. Like there is just a great story. It's obviously humorous at times. It's kind of silly and funny, but like, I'm totally, you know, wrapped up in what the story is and what's happening in the music and everything. And we, I just feel like that doesn't that doesn't happen in music like it used to anymore. Unfortunately, I miss these days, dude. I really miss these days, guys. Um, love what we're hearing so far. Great music. I love the the little Picardy third, the major chord that we had there at the end. That was great. Not technically a Picardy third because it's an actual chord. But anyway, uh, love that we've got that juxtaposed to all of the minor stuff that happened before that. Really, really cool. We're gonna go ahead and rewind just a little bit. Keep going here, guys, and, and check out some more of this. I just love this. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. It was almost like we had this like little moment of like renaissance. I, when I say renaissance, I don't mean like uh, in the general term of the word of having a renaissance, like the renaissance era of music almost. Like how cool was that? I'm sorry, I have to listen to that again. Like, so the first time I listened to it, I'm just focusing on the notes and the and the melody and the harmony and all that all that jazz. I'm not really focusing on what's actually being said. But this second time through, like I, I focused a little bit more on what Jack Black is saying. Fluga luga lee. Like what? <laughs> So when it, when you when you do scat, uh, scat tends to have you know oohs and ahs and wees and es, um, and then you have like like you know s's and c's and t's. Yeah, and, and anyway, in terms of the verbal linguistics and stuff, it tends to be much more dark and closed and hard diction, not flugeligi like e. Those are sounds you never hear in scat ever, <laughs> like which makes me think that he purposely chose like what are some of the weirdest sounds that you never ever hear in scat, and that's what I'm gonna do. Like, have have you ever thought of that before? Have you paid attention to, like to the actual scat vowel sounds that he's using and consonants? Because it's it's not normal, but I love it. Oh, little devil went down the Georgia esque stuff. And the peculiar thing is this, my friends the song we sang on that fateful night, it didn't actually sound anything like this song. This is just a tribute. You gotta believe. Was that Ben? St Wait, was that Ben Stiller? <laughs> Talk about a cameo. That's Ben. That's Ben Stiller. <laughs> Ooh, nice little roll. Yeah, I don't know if you guys caught that or not. Really nice roll of the tongue there from Jack Black. I think it was Jack Black that did that. A reach.
I love too in this section right here, guys. If I don't know if you're catching this, it is it's got to be intentional. So this whole epic guitar solo that's happening right now, it's happening on an electric, even though he's playing on the acoustic. It's clearly not the devil that's that's playing this because you know you can see what he's doing here on the acoustic. It's clearly being played on the acoustic here, but we're hearing a electric. Which I think is just a cool little tribute to the, well, tribute, there we go with the word tribute, to the idea that this is not actually the best song in the world, you're just hearing a tribute. This is not actually them playing the best song in the world, they're just kind of trying and pretending to. I'd love to see him play this live. That's impressive. <laughs> That's great. I yeah, I, I think that'd be cool to actually see them perform this live. Uh, just to see the actual playing of this, like that's highly, the guitar work in particular, really, really impressive. I absolutely love this, guys. This was a ton of fun. A uh, nice little break in our normal routine where we're kind of getting into the serious critique of stuff. Just some, just something that's kind of funny and, and frivolous, but still really good. Like really, really top tier quality music. Like I said, I, I miss this era of 80s ballad i guess uh, lyrical ballads to some degree i know this is not technically a ballad but uh ballad in the sense of it's telling a story not ballad in the sense of you know dancing and that kind of stuff uh like i miss that kind of music um wish we had a little bit more of it we need a little bit of a renaissance of the 80s if you will <laughs> uh but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did guys i'd appreciate it first and foremost if you like and subscribe to the channel obviously but more importantly turn on those notifications guys so you don't miss any more of the content that we've got coming out in the future last but not least guys if you want to continue your journey down that music rabbit hole make sure you check out the next video